I've lost tube, I'm Sally. I'm Stitchy Sally here on YouTube and also over on Instagram. Today is the 6th of December 2023 and this is floss tube number 65. A very warm welcome whether you are a returning viewer or a new viewer. It is lovely to have you here. Love spending time with you. Very, very grateful to you all. Um, I have been meaning to thank the new subscribers that I've had in recent weeks probably months something like that I have had a little bit of an uptake so I'm now at 1300 and something so thank you so so much um, and so anybody who has mentioned me in recent weeks um, thank you so much I usually say thank you and it just every time I've done my notes it's totally slipped my mind so if you have mentioned me thank you thank you so much um, I will just say um, <clears throat> some thank yous I have noted down and if I've missed you I'm really really sorry so um, Kayla and Lauren of Stitching With My Littley um, not the latest floss tube I think it was their floss tube before they mentioned me so thank you so much Kayla and Lauren um, and if you haven't watched them do go and give them a watch they are hilarious mother and daughter absolutely great to watch so much fun um, and then um, Charlotte High Heel Stitcher she gave me a mention and again do go and watch Charlotte she's lovely she has some fantastic projects really really nice um, and then there is also Christy Christy's Corner Needlework um, she mentioned me in her first Flossmas video I think it was um, Christy's lovely absolutely love watching Christy as she says we have we do different projects, we have, di you know, different um, likes and stuff, but she's fantastic to watch. Lovely, lovely person, so knowledgeable. Um, yeah, so thank you so much, Christy. Um, and then lovely Charlie, Charlie Feathers, watched her floss tube yesterday, um, and she just gave me a quick mention as well. So thank you so much, Charlie, and please do go watch her. She's a, a, a beautiful soul, gentle, so gentle lovely stitching so yeah do go and give her a watch as well right i've got quite a bit to show you so i'm going to get on before i start waffling far far too much so i have uh, a couple of finishes i do have some ffos as well which was my secret stitching but i'm going to show those next time there were ornaments that i stitched and um i know that four that I sent have been received three have been opened and I don't know about the other one so I thought rather than me getting mixed up and accidentally maybe showing one that somebody hasn't seen um, nearly 60 year old brain you know um, I'll wait until next time until they've all been opened um, received and opened so my first finish is this one and it is the Cleo Mystery Cell by Barbara Anna Designs which is now available um, as the full chart. Uh, so I stitched this using all the DMCs um, and the Petite Treasure Braid. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Um, and I stitched it on a 32 Oh, I'm so sorry, I keep getting a tickle in my throat. Um, a 32 count coffee craft fabrics from Megan's Super Sunday sale, and it's an opalescent, doesn't show up terribly well there, but there she is. There is Cleo, and I absolutely love this. She is absolutely gorgeous. So, so pleased I decided to stitch her. I just think she's she's just so special. But Barbara Hanna really does have a way with these dreaming girls. She's she's just such a talented designer. So that is that. And I do apologise if you can hear my washer. Um, <laughs> it's a little noisy when it spins. I think it could be <laughs> getting a bit tired. I hope not. <laughs> Um, and then my next finish 
is this one and it is the Snowflower Diaries Trust the Universe and this chart was very kind of gifted to me by my lovely friend Dawn Frosty X Stitch and I had to start it more or less straight away um, so I'm stitching it with mostly the called for colours I did sub some of them out that I didn't have but they are mostly the called for the, um, the gentle arts and again this was stitched on a coffee craft fabrics it's a fabric of the month and Megan doesn't name her fabrics and there it is and I just love this it doesn't show up very well but uh, I love it this is one of the needle minders that lovely Lindsay Wolfie, St whoops, sorry, Wolfie Stitches sent me. So yeah, chuffed to bits with that. Absolutely love it. I can't wait to get it framed and on the wall. I don't know when it'll be. I've got quite a few to frame, to be fair. I'm just going to take that needle minder off there, actually, because I'm going to put it on something else now that I've finished that one. Um, yeah, love it. Absolutely love it. And as I say, I do have a few a few bits to frame now. Um, I think I'm going to go around the charity shops. I think I need to, to get myself out and, and go and have a look and see what I can find, I think. I forgot to show you my book of days. <laughs> this is a little bit... Yeah, so there's November. And here is the start of December. So I have got down here, these are all um, what's going to be my starts for my six for 60. And then at the bottom there's a another new start, which was an, um, a very much unplanned start. But we'll talk about that later. Right, so... As I said in my last floss tube, I was hoping to get nearly all my whips finished. Obviously not the Pilgrim and not Guardian. Um, I didn't quite manage it. So this is a Romanian whip from November. And it is Yasmin's Made With Love, The Light of the Christmas Star. And this is just absolutely gorgeous. So I'm stitching this with... And I'm going to consult my notes because I don't want to forget anybody. Um, Angela, Mrs. Miggins, who she won this chart off Yasmin and she'd already bought it. So she asked Yas to, if she would very kindly send it to me. Um, so thank you so much again, Angela. And then there is Ruth, Country Gal 854 and Natalie, Home Sweet Home Handmade. And Natalie, I am sending so much love to you. Um on the loss of lovely Betsy. Um, yeah, so I'm stitching this mostly the called for. Um, I did sub out the green and the red because I didn't have them or I didn't have enough of them. And I'm stitching this on the um, recommended 32 count vintage country mocker. And yes, I have a dangling thread. It's not often you uh, see dangling threads with me, is it? Um, so yeah, that's that's where I'm at. So I'm hoping with a couple of good stitchy sessions to get this finished. I've not got a lot to do. I mean, I've only got to fill in um, the wings and then there's this foliage above and just fill in on her, um, her halo. Um, yeah, so I'm loving that. It really is a lovely, lovely stitch. And Ruth has finished her, so if you follow Ruth on Instagram, do go and have a look. Um, her finish. And then <clears throat> I have sorry, just let me grab. I am so sorry. Uh, Long Dog Samplers, The Pilgrim. And the this is a sal that I'm doing. Um, it's it's It started off as a birthday start for Elaine Elliwally Stitcher's 60th birthday. 
and um, Alice and the Stitching Whip it was also joining. They've started Saga. And the hashtag for that is let's get the dogs out, Sal. And then, because this is my first long dog and um, Amanda Alba Stitcher, she was starting her first as well. So we decided to do a sal for that as well. And the hashtag is my first long dog sal. Um, and Liz, Liz Aston, uh, Elizabeth Aston, sorry, on um, Instagram, she had, we, we talked about starting a long dog. Um, so she's joining me as well, as well as uh, Dawn Frosty X Stitch, um, Barb Batty Bat 210 on Instagram, um, Kate, who is Crafty Kate, um, Lindsay the Cheshire Stitcher, we're all starting our first. Or well, should I say we've started our first. So I am stitching this in Anchor Black. Um, some white there for the back stitch bits and then that is not what that looks like <laughs> at all that is Weeks Dye Works Purple Majesty and I'm going to use that for the words so I'm stitching this on 40 count no I'm not I'm stitching on 20 count Balana and I think it's an off white and that is where I am at up to now so I haven't picked this up since I didn't pick it up last Friday so it was the Friday before but I'm hoping to get back to it once I get into a routine with uh, my 6 for 60 so I'm trying to back stitch as I go along I do still need to go back and do the white in the sky and that is one of the needle the other needle minder that lovely Lindsay sent me so yeah, really enjoying that up to now. I'm managing <laughs> to keep quite well on track with it. So obviously it, it is a biggie and I have made um, a working copy of the first page so that I can mark off if I want to or if I need to. Um, so yeah, really, really pleased with that up to now. Uh, right, so I'll I'll do um, my, six, my six for 60 starts next. So I've started the first five. Um, I started the first one on the 1st of December. And then my plan is to start my last one, um, which is going to be uh, Teresa Kogut's With Thy Hands. I plan to start that on my actual birthday, which is the 12th. Um, so and then I'll, I'll kind of get a, in a bit of a rotation so that I'm, st I'm touching them all. Um, so the first one that I started, and I'm also using this for my December sal with Chris. Um, if you've watched me before, you'll know that Chris and I have done um, a stitch along in December for 16 years, something like that. We do this every year. We, how long is it? <laughs> I actually think this could, it's either our 16th or 17th year, not entirely sure. Um, so this is the first one and it stitches through the years uh, waiting for Santa. Um, and I'm stitching this in all the called for DMCs. Yes, I know, it's my bird's nest. <laughs> um, so it's just on plain, some plain floss drops with that ring bling that was a gift from uh, Mouse. I don't know, I don't remember whether it was last year. That's terrible, isn't it? I can't remember. Um, yeah, and I'm stitching it on 40 count vintage country mocker. So that's the start house. Yep. Yeah, you know me, don't you? Me and houses. I, uh, I sometimes think I must have been a builder in a former life. So yeah, that's my start on that one. Um, yeah, I'm hoping to get a good go on that um, this week. There's, I'm in no rush. 
I mean, I am just going to enjoy. Um, I mean, one, one of the reasons why I wanted to get other things finished before I started my 6 for 60 was because I don't like having a lot of whips. And Christy was actually talking about um, that in her, in her first Flossmas as well. Um, so yeah, I, I don't like having a lot of whips. So I was quite pleased to get those other two finished before I got started on this. So then my second start was Stacey Nash Designs It's a Wonderful Life Pink Keep Drum. Another house. And that's a huge, huge house. Um, and Andrea, and um, who is Andrea Heath, cannot remember what her full Instagram handle is. Um, she is joining me on this one. Um, and I have done, I've actually tried my best to do a conversion um, to DMC because it's all done in, I think it's Week Style Works. Yeah, so I've just done um, a conversion online. Again, sorry, bird's nest, <laughs> rat's nest, whatever. Um, and I am stitching this on 36 count summer khaki. And that's what I've got done. <laughs> so, yeah, started on the house. <laughs> It's no joke, let me tell you, it's no joke. I know, um, I can't remember who it was, has, has commented a couple of times and said, that house really takes some stitching. Um, but yeah, it's it's a big house, so it's gonna take some stitching, isn't it? I kind of really want to get some color in there, but I, th I think I just, I would quite just like to get the house, the, the bulk of the house stitched. So yeah, just my floss drops that were from, that I bought from uh, Charlie. Charlie Feathers and she very kindly sent me the ring bling. And those are lovely, lovely floss drops, very substantial floss drops. Sorry, I've got my I've got my bag down here that I'm just throwing it back into. Tidy it up later. <laughs> and then my next one. is this one, which is Rebel Stitch Designs Happily Ever After. Um, and I absolutely, love, well, I love them all. I love them all, otherwise I wouldn't be stitching them, but this one, <laughs> I love the verse on this. In fact, I love, I love everything. I love the motifs and everything. I think it's such a gorgeous design. Um, and again, I have done a DMC conversion um, I think there was one, I can't remember which one it was though. Um, it might have been Sweetest Heart that I couldn't find a conversion for, so I just picked, and I don't even know what I've picked. That does not look like that. I don't know what it is with my camera. It, does not, it doesn't seem to like showing purples very well. And uh, these are floss drops from uh, Abby at Project Stitchcraft. And the link to um, Abby's Etsy shop and Charlie's Etsy are in my not Charlie's Kofi shop are in the description box down below. Um, so I'm stitching this on a 36 count even weave from Coffee Craft Fabrics, um, and that is my progress. It's not showing the colours very well at all. It's a bit washed out. But look at that bunny, or hair, whatever, I do not know, possibly a hair. So, yeah, loving that one. And Ruth, who is Country Girl 854, she is joining me on this one. And it's just, it's just so nice to, to, you know, have, oh, where's that come from? 
to um, to have people who want to join me as well and you know just join in with my birthday celebration well sort of celebrations yeah I'll sort that later I'm not quite sure which which one it came off but I'll sort it later and then my fourth start I don't think I've ever started so many projects to be honest in a row so you can understand why I wanted to finish the rest um, is this one and it is Barbara Anna Designs Dreaming Girl um, I think Amy from Pearls and Ponderings thought she might join me with this one um, but I don't know whether, whether she's going to or not so I'm stitching this um, with the called for DMC Some beautiful colours in there. There's so, so much going on in this in this streaming girl. And again, a lovely floss drops from Charlie. And this is an unknown piece of fabric. I have absolutely no idea what it is. I think it's a 32 count. Um it's a little bit darker than it's showing actually I think but that is where I'm at with that one and normally the, the only um, project that I kind of mark off as I go along is Guardian but I've had to do it with this one as well because I'm going to get so confused if I don't but yeah that is that's lovely that is really lovely Have to have to admit, the closer I got to starting all these, I was like, "What am I doing?" Um, and then it's kind of like, "Come on, it's only six projects. You can do it. You can do this." And then the final, um, the final one that I have started. Whoops, sorry. Is. Christmas Rose by Blackbird Designs. Um, I fell in love with this as soon as it came out. So I've had it in my stash since it came out. And it's just like, you, you've got to get it. You've got to get it started. You can't can't leave it in your stash and not start it. Although having said that, I think that about a lot of things that I've got in my stash. So, um, yeah. So again, I'm using the DMC conversion, which was included in the chart. Um, so joining me on this one um, are Steve, who is Rivenhain on Instagram. Erin, who is Erin's Mix on Instagram, and Lainey, who is Lady Main, a lovely friend Lainey, you'll have heard me mention her quite a, a few times. Um, so I am stitching this on a piece of 36 count even weave. It was a fabric of the month from Megan at Coffee Craft Fabrics. And there's my start. really enjoyed this one actually it was kind of like I, I didn't I didn't want to have to put it away and go to bed to be honest but I can't stop all night and, and stitch you'd be dead on my feet I think so yeah that's that's that so those are my first five starts and I'll say I'm going to start the sixth one next week um, I think what I may well do is maybe try and get um, the light of the Christmas star finished and then on Friday um, go back to uh, waiting for Santa and then just pick whatever I fancy. Um, so I have had another new start I can't show you um, a photo of it because I don't have one 
Um, so some of you may know that and I'm really sorry, I'm probably going to butcher this. I'm just trying to think of how Yoanita at Stitchy Things pronounces it because it's a Dutch um, a Dutch uh, shop, site, website, I don't know. Um, Sudadi, I think it is, it's Simone. Um, she has done an advent sale and it's, uh, it's been designed by Pansy Patch Quilts and Stitchery. I'd looked at it several times when she'd um, originally put it up and, and I, shall I do it, shall I? And in the end I decided, no, don't, you're not doing it because you've got your six for 60, you know you're gonna be doing that. And just that's just gonna add something else to it that, you know, it might stress you out. And I know it sounds silly, but it does stress me out when I get too many whips. And then, I saw Emily's progress on it. So it came, obviously it's it's an advent sale, so you get one piece, one part of the chart into your email inbox every day from day one to 24. Um, so Emily is M's Stitches Makes, and I'll, I'll put her Instagram handle down below. And I thought, damn, why did I not do that? Because it is, it looks beautiful. So off I went to the website to see if it was still available and it was, so I, I just ordered the, the chart, the download for the chart. Um, so I have got, I think when I started it, I'd got parts one to three, maybe four actually. No, I got parts one to four. Um, so I haven't started with, with part one, I've just started as near to the middle as I as I can. Um, so I'm stitching it in some of the called for and then the rest I've just there's there's a conversion on the charts DMC. And I've got some in the back there. So as I say I can't I can't show you because there's no cover photo obviously it's it's like a mystery, it's an advent. And I, I don't I would really, really love to get some sort of an ad, you know, stitchy advent box, but I can't justify spending the money. So this, this is an ideal way to have something stitchy. So I am stitching this on 36 count vintage country mocker. My piece of fabric is a little bit bigger than it should be, but it just wasn't worth cutting any off, off it, to be honest. Um, so that's that's where I'm where I've started. That is that's going to be a reindeer, just in case you were wondering. <laughs> it's a headless reindeer at the moment. Um, so yeah, that's my start. So I think I also want to try and get caught up with this, if I can. So obviously the six parts, and um, Emily says they are doable each day, but obviously I'm behind now. Um, so yeah, I'll I'll try and remember to pop a link to the website, and you can go and have a look if you're interested. Um, I don't know where I had that. I don't know where I kept it. <laughs> I don't know which bag it was in. Right. Um, excuse me. I'm going to do haul now. Um, just excuse me. There's going to be. A teeny weeny little bit. I'm sorry there was just an email notification come up there and I was just looking to see what it was. Sorry. So I signed up for um, Fabrics by Crafty Kate's um, Fabric of the Month. I had I'd done six months with Megan at Coffee Craft Fabrics and I'd, I'd said I'd give that six, I'd give that a go for six months, and then I'd do another, sign up for another fabric dyer. Um, so I put my name on the wait list, and I had, I got in for, finally got in for November's, because Kate's fabrics are very, very popular, and um, she does, she does um, allow more people in 
every now and again. And that is just beautiful. Absolutely love it. I think that's that's possibly going to lend itself to a Barbara Anna, maybe. <laughs> Me and my Barbara Annas. And I am getting a 36 count linen 13 by 18. So I am chuffed to bits to be in Kate's Fabric of the Month Club because I've seen some absolutely gorgeous fabrics and that's not showing up too badly either, to be fair. So, yeah, and December's. It's not something that I would normally... Um, I've got, to be honest, but it's really, really gorgeous. So, yeah, I shall obviously share that one later. Um, right, what else have I got? Oh yeah, these these arrived the day that I was filming last. So, I can show them now. And I've, not, I've not got them on the ring actually. It would be so much easier if I put them on the ring to show you them. So these are from Project Stitchcraft Abbey. And they're the... Christmassy. Sorry, I am so sorry. I am utterly useless at showing these. Um, and I actually bought these for a reason. <laughs> uh, because I have, at some point in the next week or so, got the... Cottage Garden Samplings. I can't remember the name of it. It's the Father Christmas with the animals following him. I've got that coming with some fabric from Megan at Coffee Craft Fabrics. I've paid for it today. So. And then that's the ring bling that I got as well. So as I say, I'll link, I'll link down below um, both to Charlie and to um, Abby. Oops, a daisy. And then I was watching uh, Kim, Kim the Contented Stitcher. And she, she'd been to a retreat at the attic. And she showed a chart that she had been given. <laughs> so I had to stop the video, have a closer look to see what the, because um, she she said who the designer was, but I had a closer look, let me have a look, let me go and see if I can find it. And it was, um, it's Bountiful Journals on Etsy and I will link down below to it because I think for you sheep lovers out there you're probably going to want to go and buy this. It's called She Seeketh Wool and Flax. Isn't that so cute? Absolutely love it. And you actually get the instructions to finish it as a pouch with the chart. And it's lovely. It's a lovely chart. It's really clear. Um, yes, yeah, so you get the, the finishing instructions there as well. I thought that was upside down then. <laughs> like it was upside down. Um, yes, yeah, so I'll well I'll try and remember anyway to pop the pop the Etsy shop down below. Elaine, I'm I'm sure I'm sure you're going to want that, and Barb probably, and maybe even Lainey. <laughs> I do like doing some enabling. Um, and then uh, Barbara Anna showed a new collaboration with Nick Kamoska and of course the sanctions so we can't buy um, directly from Nick Kamoska at least I don't think we can um, so Barbara Anna has opened a Ko-Fi shop coffee Ko-Fi um, and she's offering up the two the two two of the patterns um, 
that are collaborations with with Nitka. Um, I don't have a cover photo. I should have got one up actually on my iPad, but never mind. Uh, and it's called Butterflies in My Head, and it is adorable, absolutely gorgeous. So I got that. I bought that on a on a coffee shop. So I'll link that down below as well. Um, yeah, it's it's a, a beautiful chat. No idea when I'll start it. No idea when I'll start any of these. I really do need to stop buying. Um, and then I had some Stitch Your Kindness. Um, Charmaine, who is one of my viewers, um, she sent me an email and asked me if she could send me a chart. Um, and this is what she sent me. And it's Bent Creek Blackbird Sampler. And the funny thing is, I have stitched two of these, um, but not this one. I've stitched the red bird and the blue bird, I think, and I think there's a brown bird as well, maybe? I can't remember. Um, I don't have them on display at the moment either, um, and I can only find one of them. I know I've got the other one somewhere. I can find the red bird, but I can't find the blue bird. Um, so I'm assuming that might be in my spring box of cross stitch. So thank you so, so much Charmaine for that. I shall look forward to stitching that one. So I think, I think that's everything. In the new year, I will have another chart coming. Hopefully. So, uh, Brenda Gervais released a few weeks back, <coughs> excuse me, um, a chart called The Light of Winter, which I'm sure many of you will have already seen. Um, it was a class piece, I believe. Um, <coughs> and I had commented a couple of times on um, Brenda's Instagram asking, if it would be available through Hoffman so that we could buy it in the UK. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get a reply um, and it hasn't become available at Hoffman's and Brenda no longer ships out of the US. Well, possibly to Europe, actually. I don't think she, she ships to Europe any longer. Um, and I had looked at various US websites and the shipping ranged from $15 up to 30 and I thought no. I love it, it'll look gorgeous. This is what, why I wanted it because it'll look gorgeous with my Winter Rose Manor. Um, so I just resigned myself to the fact that I wasn't going to have it. And then I looked at, I'd, I'd done another search and Traditional Stitches came up in Canada. Now I have bought from Traditional Stitches before um, and their shipping is so reasonable so I've, I've ordered it from there um, and I had an email saying unfortunately it was out of stock but they're going to um, order it in for me and I think it's something like 8 to 10 weeks which I don't mind as long as I get it I'm not bothered having to wait it's not like I'm going to be stitching it anytime soon um, so they'll just send me an invoice when it's ready to ship so I'm really looking forward to that because it's a beautiful, beautiful design. And I think it's just so sad that we can't easily get her designs anymore because she's, she's very, very popular over here. Um, but yeah, it, it is a shame. But anyway, um, you know, the designers have to do what, what they have to do. Um, so yeah, I'll have that to look forward to in the new year. So I think that is everything now. Um, yeah, I am quite looking forward to my birthday. No idea what we're going to be doing. I think we're going to go out for something to eat. Um, both the girls have got the day off, which would be nice. Be nice for us, for the four of us, to spend some time together. Um, me, and my husband, and Abby went to York last Wednesday. Um, went to do some Christmas shopping. It was it was nice actually, just to get out, get somewhere different. To where we normally go. I haven't been to York since before COVID actually. I think the last time we went, we went to go around the ice sculptures and that was just as the, I think they found the first 
cases in York. Um, so yeah, not been since then. So that it, that was nice. Um, got a bit into the Christmas spirit. Didn't like like the bus ride. We, we get on the park and ride. Did not like the bus ride in because we had to go out upstairs. Um, but anyway, yeah, that that was uh, a really nice day out actually. It's been cold. It has been bitterly, bitterly cold. It didn't get above freezing on Saturday. Um, we had the teeniest bit of snow and the rest of it was just rain. It was miserable. It was miserable yesterday. Um, but thankfully we've got a frost this morning and the sunshine. So that's that was nice. It was nice to go out for a walk this morning and just get some fresh air. <laughs> so I'm going to go now. Thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing, for your lovely comments, your likes. Please do continue to like my videos and subscribe and everything. Um, I just love, I just love doing this and interacting with people because I have met so many more lovely people through doing my floss tubes. Um, and obviously my oldest stitching friends mean the world to me um yeah the laney and mouse and, and barb and chris and lisa um i've known them for a lot of years so yeah but it is it's just it's lovely it's lovely the the friendships that i've made um yeah thank you Thank you all so much for keeping coming back every couple of weeks to, to watch me waffle <laughs> or listen to me waffle. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go now. Um, I will see you in a couple of weeks and that'll be my last lost tube before Christmas. Um, so look after yourselves, stay safe and enjoy every single stitch. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.